China, one of the biggest food paradise in the world. With over 5,000 years of history, food has evolved over time. Hot pot is thought to have originated in Mongolia about 800 to 900 years ago. The primary ingredient originally was meat, which includes mutton and even horse meat. During that time, the broth was not spicy, but the hot pot was subsequently exposed and spread throughout China, where distinct regional variations were developed. And now we have a famous flavor called the mala, spicy and numbing taste, which has not only spread through China, but across the globe. Today we'll be eating instant hot pot meals. Stay tuned. Today we'll try two kinds of self-heating hot pot. It doesn't require any energy, you don't need a fire, you don't need electricity, you just need water, that's it. So these are the instructions, you put in the sauce, put in the water, put in the vegetables, then you add water to the bag. You need to be fast after adding the water because it will start to cook immediately and followed by the sesame oil after it's cooked. So let's try following the instructions to cook this meal. bag of vegetables. I believe most of it is cabbage, vermicelli, the sesame oil, a plastic fork, this is the spicy and numbing sauce. This is actually the taste of this whole dish. A bag of tofu and the heating element this is a heating bag so what happens is when you add water to it it will start to heat up some kind of science thing so we're gonna put in the sauce first then the tofu there was a step I done wrong. It would be better to put the noodles in first because uh, in the end, the noodles turned out kind of hard because it was not exposed to the water. All right, now for the heating bag, you need to be very careful. It's very, very hot. I avoid using my fingers because I don't want any moisture from my fingers to actually activate the heating element in the bag. So I start pouring enough water just to cover the bag. To put a bit more, I think it will be better. You have to quickly place the white container over it. Quickly seal it up. And let the heating begin. You can hear the boiling noise, right? So we're gonna fast forward. It's actually gonna take about 15 minutes for everything to get cooked. Alright, 15 minutes is up. Let's open it up. If you're eating this, you have to be very careful as well because it's very hot. Try not to burn yourself. So there's lotus, there's some black fungus. There's potatoes and some cabbage inside. Remind me not to eat with a plastic fork again. I grab chopsticks instead. It's not because I'm Asian so I have to use a chopstick. It's because there was so much ingredients in the pot that it's just easier to use chopsticks as I could grab them instead of piercing through them using a lousy plastic fork. Let's start eating. Actually, it's very, very spicy. If you don't have very good tolerance for eating spicy food, I recommend preparing a glass of milk or some ice water before you start eating. Personally, I like to eat very spicy food, but this is spicy even for me. It's actually quite tasty. It's very, very salty and spicy. I don't recommend putting in the full sauce pack because on the instructions, they actually say you can choose to put in half of it, a third of it, personal preference. 
I was supposed to put in the sesame sesame seed oil after uh, it's done cooking, but I kind of forgot and started to eat it because I was very excited. All right, let's try it with the sesame oil. Just doing a quick mix. You can tell it's not easy to mix up. It's too full. All right, the sesame oil is a game changer. It actually make it more fragrant. It brings the whole dish together. Yes, yeah, so I finish it. It's very spicy. I rate this 8 out of 10. So the next one, this is slightly cheaper. It's called Chongqing Huo Guo, which is Chongqing is a place in China which is famous for hot pots. It has similar instructions. It also doesn't require any heat or electricity. It's very convenient. Immediately you can tell they are using a different kind of noodle. This is the bag of vegetables. This sauce was a nightmare for me. I had to use a fork and a spoon to actually dig it out because it was the fat kind of solidified. Uh, it's the same heating bag as well. I had a hard time taking the sauce out. If you are eating this kind of food at home, I recommend doing it in the kitchen or doing it with the windows open because I actually did it in an enclosed room. Kind of stupid of me. And my whole room now smells like Chinese food. It smells like a Chinese restaurant. You can tell the sauce is very different. The, the previous one was more minced up. You could tell it's actually a sauce, but this it was more of a paste. This is a kind of Chinese noodle. I have no idea what is it called. If you know the name of this noodle, please leave a comment and let me know. But I could tell that most of the noodles are closely stick together, stick to each other. So it's best to kind of separate them out piece by piece. So you will cook evenly. Next, we'll put in the vegetables. There's lesser vegetables in this. Just the usual cabbage, potatoes, black fungus. And there are a few pieces of kelp as well. I'm gonna add in some water. Alright, let's prepare the heating bag. The steps are similar. It actually, it's the same. They even got the same brand of heating bag. This time I put a bit more water so it will activate faster. Because I realized that it took much longer for the previous one before it activated. quickly cover it up. This also takes about 15 minutes so when do we know that it's ready you could use a timer or when the steam stops coming out it's ready. Let's open it up. I could definitely smell the fragrance in this one. It's very similar to the previous one but there's something distinctive it smells much better. But I can tell by the smell that it's equally spicy. I, I didn't learn my lesson, I still add a whole bag of the paste in or the sauce. Let's give it a quick mix. Okay, let's try the noodles. Alright, the noodles are a bit chewy. It, it doesn't feel like regular noodles, it's like some kind of chewy, very starchy noodles. I, I think you could really get very full from eating this. It's a little less spicy than the previous one. Fragrance wise, this is much better than the previous one. I managed to finish it. I would rate this about 7 or 8 out of 10. You can check out this link for spicy China snacks. We also feature other cuisines from around the world. We have come to the end of the video. If you want to see more food content, you can always request, leave a comment, and of course, always remember, subscribe to Hungry Factors. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice hot pot meal too.